Hi uh, everybody, John the Taurus Taurus is here in Cartagena, Colombia, March 2024. And in this video, you're gonna be taking a look before you book Cartagena, Colombia. So basically pretty much all the things that you need to know before you go, before you go ahead and book the plane ticket, before you go ahead and book the Airbnb, and you call Cartagena your travel destination for a week, 10 days, two weeks, however long you see yourself coming out here for in the coastal city of Colombia, Cartagena. So let's dive into it, shall we? everybody so first and foremost something that's very important and very vital when you're traveling anywhere in this world is funds and the exchange rate so right here right now March 2024 the current exchange rate based on off 100 US dollars is 360,000 Colombian pesos now I must say that is a steep drop compared to this time last year I remember I could change 100 US dollars and I was getting back about 430,000 Colombian pesos. So one year later, we're talking a 70,000 Colombian peso drop in what you're gonna get when you exchange your US dollars for Colombian pesos. So everybody, moving on over to the nightlife status and, and what it's been like. Well, I must say it's been fair compared to last year and the year before that and the year before that it's been fair there's a new mayor in town so he has set a whole lot of more stricter rules and regulations as far as how the nightlife movement goes and if you want a better idea on what it's like i encourage you to check out a video that i uploaded here on youtube about two weeks ago the cartagena colombia nightlife status february 2024 that's gonna pretty much answer the question as far as how it's been like here, as far as nightlife goes. For those of you who are familiar with Cartagena, Colombia, and for those of you who have spent some wild nights in the Centro Historico, you know that the three heavy hitters when it comes to nightclubs here in Cartagena, Colombia is Space, Docerita, and Delirium. Now, Delirium remains closed. It's Docerita, remains closed but here's a major update if you haven't heard the news get ready space is reopened but there's a major but here it's under new ownership so the new name for space space makes some space because the new name is omnia hookah bar that's right so whether you are a first time visitor to Cartagena or a returning visitor to Cartagena, that's something new that you're gonna find in the Centro Historico so space is gone past history old news the new name is now the Omnia Bukhavar all right so now I just want to talk about real quick on how the tourism has been out here as far as tourists calling Cartagena their travel destination not too shabby I've noticed there's a lot of people from Europe from European countries such as Germany Italy, France, of course Americans, a few people from Central America. The other day I, I met a couple from Honduras. They, they were actually visiting Cartagena for the first time and they were loving it. If you plan on coming out here anytime soon, you're gonna encounter many fellow tourists. Boca Grande Beach. Now, what has the beach been like? The beach vibes, shall we say. What's it been like? It's been good. I've noticed though, I have noticed there is a lot of a lot of passport bros and a lot of Europeans who have been flooding the beach and as far as everyone else goes you know you got a a good mixed bag of other tourists you know I remember I was talking with somebody from Ecuador visiting from Ecuador I was talking with a lady who was visiting from Mexico so, you know, aside from the Europeans and aside from the passport bros, 
you still got a good mix of other fellow tourists who are out there at the beach. You still got the vendors trying to sell everything under the hot ass Cartagena sun. They're trying to sell you beer, water, fake sunglasses. You name it, they're trying to sell it to you. But I have noticed compared to before, the vendors are less aggressive. Before the vendors would take no for an answer, they would keep on and keep on and keep on. Now they ask you once and keep it pushing. So that's something that I have definitely noticed that has improved compared to before. All right, something else I want to cover real quick on take a look before you book and safety. And I'm not going to make this long and drag down. I'm just going to give you a direct and straight up response and answer. Yes, it's safe. You don't have to reconsider your, your travel here to Cartagena or to Colombia. As you can see, I'm walking the streets. I got the camera out. Just me, myself, and I. Nobody's bothering me. You know, we got other people going about their day. You got everybody out here. You got people on their motos. You got the taxi drivers. So if you're thinking about that or if that's something that's just weighing on your mind is, is the safety status out here, it's fine. It's safe. And you'll be fine. And you know what? The city of Cartagena has once before been voted the number one tourist destination in the country of Colombia. Now I believe Medellin holds that title, but Cartagena isn't too far behind. So with the title like that comes safety. And what does that mean? More police presence, more security presence at the hotels and Airbnbs. So yeah, in closing, it's safe out here. So what I wanted to talk about next here as I find myself in the central of Cartagena, Colombia on the final evening hours here is the women. Now, this is a question that I get asked a lot, especially from the male travelers is what's the status and the quality of the wild women out in Cartagena right now? Well, I'm going to give it to you straight up and direct. It's been all right. It's not what it used to be, you know, considering all the new rules and regulations that the mayor has laid down here in the Centro Historico. And I'm actually gonna show you, because it's one thing to talk about it, but I'm gonna show you. So as you see, we got this fencing that's surrounding the plaza. We got some city workers out here doing some masonry work on these bricks. We got a statue here in the center that's getting worked on. We got some more sidewalk repair going on over there where the green wrapping is at so with all this work that's going on and all this tender love and care that's being given to the centro historico like i said the mayor's laying down some new rules and regulations so he wants to shake things up around here he wants to clean things up so what that means is all the all the looseness and wildness that the centro historico has been known for he wants that to be a thing in the past that doesn't mean that there's no nightlife here and that doesn't mean that you're not gonna find wild women out here but it has definitely discouraged them so now what the wild women are doing they're all heading down south and heading inland to where to the city of eternal spring medellin colombia and look i was out in medellin a couple weeks ago and i'll be the first to say that it was on and popping out there all the bars were filled all the nightclubs were filled rooftops were filled flooded with wild women but you can still come out here as a male traveler and you can still find the beautiful wild gorgeous women roaming the streets here of Cartagena Colombia you can still get it in with some ripping and tearing and some sipping and tipping <laughs> Uh, you're seeing everything firsthand right here march 2024 john the tourist tourist walking these streets of the centro historico of cartagena giving all you viewers subscribers all the ladies and greatest information on what you can expect on once again take a look before you book
All right, now John the Taurus. Taurus is on his way to quite possibly the best and the top lookout point here in the city. It's called Cafe del Mal. You get great views of the ocean. All the buildings out in Boca Grande and a mix of the very, very old buildings here in the Centro Historico of Cartagena. Thank <laughs> you. 